This is an amazing post, guys. Listen closely. This ape said renting. It only cost $99 to rent out an AMC movie theater to watch a wide variety of movies. Not only can you rent a theater for just $99 at times, but they can come with packages with snack and meal deals also. Why would anyone want to invest their money in any other movie theater chain? Are there any talks about gaming hookups at AMC? Because this ape said they'd rent one out every other Friday. Or my days off and play classic cop, Black Ops Zombies, or Hot Wheels Unleashed. That sounds like a lot of fun. And this ape down below had a great idea too. They said we should organize ape nights in localized groups. Divide the rental cost among us, splurge on snacks and have a wonderful time, and meet great people before and after the movie. This is yet again another amazing thing that AMC offers that not that many people know about. So make sure to spread the word. This ape says math isn't math in our corner of the stock market, and it sure doesn't seem like it at times. They said AMC is the first stock in history where 80% of the float is locked, meaning that 80% of the float is owned by retail investors or more. And for the most part, the holders are just continuing to hold their shares. They're not really trading them. For me personally, I haven't sold a single share of AMC that I've owned since I bought my first share years ago. Now on top of that, 40% is on loan, 25% is shorted, and 50% is in fails to deliver. And it's oversold. If you take it all into consideration, this play does seem more and more bizarre by the day. It seems to be that there's some massive manipulation going on, and hopefully only a matter of time until this whole thing gets sorted out. This says ex-JP Morgan Gold Trader faces 30 years for spoofing. An ex-JP Morgan Gold Trader was found guilty of fraud in the commodities market. Christopher Jordan was convicted of wire fraud affecting a financial institution by a federal judge in Chicago the latest win for U.S. prosecutors on the crackdown of illegal spoofing, trades, and market manipulation. Between 2008 and 2010, Jordan placed thousands of spoof orders, orders that he intended to cancel before execution, to drive prices in a direction more favorable to orders he intended to execute on the opposite side of the market. Jordan engaged in a deceptive spoofing strategy while trading gold and silver future contracts on the Commodity Exchange or the COMEX which is a commodities exchange operated by the CME Group. These deceptive orders were intended to inject false and misleading information about the genuine supply and demand for gold and silver future contracts into the market. He is scheduled to be sentenced at a later date and faces a maximum penalty of 30 years in prison. Four other former JP Morgan precious metal traders were previously convicted in related cases.